Previously on Paradise Falls. I'm not going to go to jail, Rusty. Well, who says you're going to jail? I, I killed a guy, for Christ's sakes. They usually put you in jail for that. You have some of my dad's movies. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the brick. Has Francis ever told you who Roxy's father is? It's Pete Braga. I have to come up with $80,000 by the end of the week. You know who this is? This is Pete. Welcome to the Paradise Falls Community Report. Today's weather, clear skies, calm waters. Another perfect day in Paradise Falls. dollars how do they expect you to pay for that they want me to personally guarantee the debt which is so typical if I had the money I wouldn't need the line of credit in the first place so what's the next step <sighs> if I don't pay up they sell off my assets close me down Jesus B that's hard ass well, they did offer me a calendar this is my fault no it's not your fault it's Pete no he wouldn't be so angry if I hadn't dragged your son up here. He must hate me. No. I don't hate you. I'm too busy hating myself. Hey. I know, I know, I know. I gotta stop that self-pity. There's nothing uglier on a woman. Powder blue eyeshadow. <laughs> You're right. That is worse. <laughs> well, still, I'm going for lunch with Samuel tomorrow. Well, maybe that'll work out. Don't oh, hold your breath. He hates me. Pete hates me? Bank isn't crazy about me? I don't know. Maybe living in Paradise Falls wasn't such a great idea after all. I know the feeling. You can't be serious! Look, would you keep that voice of yours down? Trudy's here now. We don't want her to hear us. You're not gonna deliver the blackmail money on your own. Look, I don't have a choice. <sighs> Stop trying to be macho. You're not macho. It's a character you play. Look, I'm just doing what the note says. Okay, but this isn't one of your killer zone movies, all right? If it gets bad, nobody's going to yell cut. Look, I know. Look, I just... I just want things to go back to normal. Okay, just do what the note says. 50 grand to the barn by 11.30, then turn and run. I have some good news. We're back together. <laughs> you and Val? I'm not surprised. You like frickin' fracky, too. So do, you want, do you want some coffee? Sure. I have some other news if you want to hear it. Can I stop you? Val read your diaries. No, it's good. She decided not to make it a police matter. She's gonna keep the story in the family. As far as the cops are concerned, our baby brother is gonna stay a John Doe. No one's gonna find out anything, including Roxy. And, uh, Val didn't say anything else? Well, she did say one other thing I wanted to ask you about. I need to talk to you. Yes, dear. Can you get rid of the cucumbers? Mommy can hear you just as well through the cucumbers. Listen, I heard you guys talking last night, and I heard the word blackmail. Uh, sure you did. Uh, we were just rehearsing a scene from the movie. You weren't acting. We were. No, you weren't. I know when you're acting, you sound completely fake. You sounded normal this time. 
Look, what's wrong with Daddy? Oh, baby, you know the brick. It's just jitters about the movie. <sighs> that is so lame. Believe. Nick, come in. Would you like a beer? Uh, no, I'm I'm okay. I did the uh, the draft revisions for which is a fun look, like you asked. You know, it was pretty hard to make them work. Let me see. These look good. Yeah, well, I thought by. Uh, Switching the focus to the witch instead of the sheriff, it worked better. I think you're right. You know, with the right person pushing you from behind, you could go far. Look, I, uh, I want to work, okay? I don't want to fool around. We can do both. You're supposed to be reading. Look, kid, you're a young writer with nothing. I'm an old pro with a shitload of credits. How else are you going to learn? Val said she read in your diary who Roxy's real father was. I don't want to talk about that. It's Pete Braga. Is it true? She never should have told you that. Oh, I have a right to know. Who says? Who says? It's none of your business. I'm your brother, Roxy's uncle. It's my business. Pete Braga must never know that you know. You understand me? And Roxy too. She must never find out who her real father is. I mean it, never. I told you I'm not interested. Liar. You want to be a writer? Here's a tip. It's not what characters say, it's what they do. If you weren't really interested, you'd be out of this room by now. Oh, the ingenue leaves all upset. Well, it's a late exit, but not without its drama. <laughs> it's a good thing you live up here in beaver country. You'd never make it in Hollywood. Why? Because I won't sleep with you? No, because you're a stupid fuck. You shouldn't give a shit whether you like me or not. Ask yourself, can he introduce me to the right people? The right agents? What's a few kisses between friends if it gets you all that? Now, do you want to get to work or do you want to keep acting like Doris Day? When are we gonna work on my book? <laughs> You can't adapt until you know how to write. I want you to work on a few more scenes from Witches. Is it stuffy in here? Why don't you take off your shirt while we're working? That's better. My father? It's not true. <laughs> Billy doesn't know what he's talking about. Uncle Billy, is it true? You go away. You've caused enough damage. I'm sorry. You listen to me now. Pete Braga is not your father. Now you've got to believe me. You, you, you know that I would never let him near me. I mean, you know that. You've heard me talk about him. I hate him. Then if it isn't Pete Braga, then who is it? The bank is revoking my line of credit. They say I'm a high risk. Really? Why would they think that? Maybe because you're friends with the bank president. Why are you doing this to me? Isn't it obvious? Why? What? What? So you can fool around with Jessica? 
I don't need you out of town to do that. Well, then why? I mean, I'm sorry I hurt you, Petal. You didn't hurt me. And don't call me Petal. I don't give a shit about you. Well, you know, it's funny to me how hard you're working to get rid of somebody that you don't even care about. In fact, I don't believe you. Okay, fine. I didn't come here to watch you behave like a child. I just came here to tell you, you're not getting rid of me. Oh, yes, I will. And you know how it's gonna happen? The bank is gonna sell all your assets and I'm gonna buy the marina for nothing. And then I'm gonna remove every trace of you like you never even existed. Hmm. Huh. These little jabs don't hurt me. What kills me, the, what, what just kills me is all those years I defended you. I mean, I told people that you had a heart. Well, I guess you were wrong. <laughs> parents really hate you. Does that mean we're not going out anymore? No. Any enemy of my parents is a friend of mine. Friend? I was hoping for a little more. Oh, man. Is sex all you ever think about? Oh, just when I'm around you. I'm hungry. I'm horny. I want to eat. So do I. I'll give you a hand job, then I want a burger. Deal. Francis, did Billy tell you the good news? How dare you tell him? I told you that there were things in those diaries that Billy wasn't supposed to know. Are you fucking stupid? It just slipped out. Jesus, I spent my whole life protecting Roxy from people like Braga, and now you've ruined it! Roxy doesn't know about it. I didn't tell her. Oh, you didn't have to. Billy told her. I'm so sorry, Francis. Thank God almighty, of course she knows. Because everything in this town is fucking dominoes. You can't say anything to anyone without somebody else hearing it, and then somebody else hearing it, and someone else. You know what? You shouldn't have told Billy. You should have taken your gun out and shot me! It works. <laughs> oh, you are the best. <laughs> well, it wasn't easy. I was working on it all night. Oh, it reads. But uh, I do have some other notes. Have a seat, Clive. My, uh, my witch consultant, she says there's a lot of inaccurate material in the script. Like what? Well, like, uh, like witches don't drink blood. Well, maybe some witches do drink blood. Plus, um, they don't sacrifice animals. Killing the cat is the end of act one. We have to kill the cat. All right, I'll talk to Pamela. Well, maybe we could kill something else. What about a chicken? You can't kill a chicken. The audience won't identify with a chicken. Brick, can I kill a cat? Fine, just, just do it away from the cottage. D did you finish your rewrite? It's brilliant. Looks good. You didn't even read it. Clive, you don't have to read to be a good director, okay? Words are more page-oriented. I, I am more of a, of, a, of a visual person, all right? I mean, if Rusty says it's brilliant, then that's, that's fine by me. Just make the rest of it as good. How'd your meeting with uh, Script Boy go? Ooh. Clive thinks I have a lot of talent. He, um, he wants to take me to, to Hollywood, maybe introduce me to some people. Well, that's great, man. Because I do not want to spend the rest of my life here in Paradise Falls. There's nothing to do around here. Oh, <laughs> well, there's nature. Oh, the exciting world of trees. I want to go to California, man. Movie stars and Hollywood. Hello. What? Yeah, California. 
Yeah, that'd be great. Clive's not putting the moves on you, is he? No. Clive just likes my talent. Uh, your talent for what, huh? Hmm? Hey, hey, go get dressed. Wait. Um, there's something wrong with your towel. For what? It's on you. So, uh, what were you saying about there being nothing to do here? Can I say you look marvelous? What do you want? You're not still upset over having to change a few movie locations, are you? All. All of our movie locations. Paradise Falls will give you everything you want, and if it doesn't, I will. What do you want? Well, we're having a, an art exhibit unveiled in two days in the park, and I want you to do the honors. What is it? It's a duck. A duck? Well, not just a duck. It's a giant duck. It's Ooh. a great big piece of duck art. Why should I do this for you? Because I would be personally gratified. Ooh. Uh, and it could show your uh, support for the arts. And we're planning to have a lot of national press. What time? Two o'clock Friday. I'll be there. I'll take care of this. Knock yourself out. I shouldn't have told you. No, it's better that the truth comes out. Francis will see that eventually. I guess so, but Braga? No wonder my sister's so fucked up. Promise me we'll never keep secrets from each other? I can't do that. There's always going to be secrets. Not important ones. Okay, not important ones. Just baby ones. Just baby ones. Let's talk to you. I'm in a bit of a rush right now. Are you my father? What are you talking about? Where'd you hear that kind of bullshit? My mother. She let it slip out and now she's denying it. No offense, kid, but your mother's a fucking loon. I don't know who your father is, but it isn't me. I don't know, I don't know. But blackmailing who? My father, are you even listening to me? I am, I am, don't, don't stop. I mean, I know he's not perfect. He uh, makes kind of a hothead some of the time, but I mean, everyone loves the brick. What could he have done? It beats me. Well, I overheard my mom say he had to deliver blackmail money to 11.30 to some place called The Barn. Do you know where that is? I, I know, I know. Faster! Don't worry, I'll take care of it. You will? Yes! Yes! Yeah! So, where do you want to eat? You know, that's not going to help. Honey, it calms me down. Hey, uh, Brick, don't you think the all black number's a bit much there? Not just write swag on the bag. Look, I'm just doing what the note told me to do. <sighs> I know, I'm sorry. I I'm just so nervous. <sighs> it's time. Oh, God, I, I still don't think you should do this. Honey. It's going to be fine. Don't let anybody hurt those dimples. Don't worry. I've got them insured. <laughs> it's open. 
Do I know you? I'm Simon. I'm Nick's partner. Right. Do you want a drink? I want you to back off of Nick. Back off? Of Starsky and Hatch? <laughs> Did Nick say something? Not in so many words. Simon, let me tell you something. Writers never go out with other writers. Our egos are too fragile. You're not a writer, are you? No. I'm a personal trainer. Really? You know, I've been looking for a personal trainer. Do you want a beer? Here you go. I'm sorry to bother you, but I need to know if it's true. You're gonna have to ask your mom. I said too much already. She won't tell me. First she says Bragg is my dad, and now she's denying it. I'm sorry, I, I can't get involved. I think I have a right to know who my father is. Can I stay here with you and Auntie Val tonight? Your mom's gonna be worried. She's not even home. I already went by there. One night. And I'm calling Franny to make sure she knows that you're here. Come on. Someone, pick it up. Let's go. It's fucking cold out here. That's it. Inside a place where no one's been 